Welcome to Hoofy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and I really need to thank you all. Thank you so much for watching because you make this possible. All of my stupid decisions, all of my cars, my dream garage, which is about to get a lot more dreamier. One of my favorite pastimes is to go to the drive-in movie theater or just the movie theater in general, but that's not possible right now with the stay-at-home order and all non-essential businesses closed. So I've decided to bring the drive-in movie theater to my garage. I have Eric from AVI out here doing a big install of a giant projector inside of my garage. The goal is to make it feel like as close to a drive-in movie theater as possible, where I can pull up my car, park it right in the middle, look up at the screen, and, and watch things. Myself, the wizard, Tiger King, whatever, but also I've made some other additions to the garage to keep me entertained. You may have seen them in the background, which I shall now actually show you, but first Let's check on what Eric's doing with the projector install. He's actually up high on a ladder right now. Oh, I'm getting attacked with ladders. <laughs> Coming to my own garage, get attacked. Sorry. So it looks like you are anchoring up whatever's going to hold this projector screen, right? Correct, sir. And it's electric? It is, yes. Yeah, I can see the little electric motor on here. How big is this thing? 120 inch diag. Nice, 120 inches. That should be more than enough. And there's more bits over here. We're going to have some sound, two big JBL speakers, and then inside of here, I'm looking forward to getting this out. This is the laser projector, right? Laser? Laser. Very much a laser. So they have a lot of work to do. They'll be here most of the day installing this. But we've got a few other toys back here, which we'll cover as well. Just like a lot of my hoopties, this old outrun machine takes a long time to start up and it makes some weird noises, but it all eventually goes away and then works fine. But this is a 2003 Outrun 2 side-by-side, -side, and this was a game changer for video games back in the day. A little load, I'll show you. But the steering wheel has force feedback. You can see it calibrating right now. It's actually a pretty realistic simulation, except for the, the drifting part, which is quite hilarious because you can drift a Ferrari like just, just like in Tokyo Drift. It seems easy on screen, but oh, it's ready. Oh, that is quite distorted. There we go. I swear it doesn't flash like that in person. Of course, we need to switch to the 360 Spider, right? I'll do automatic just because I'm driving one-handed. All right, let's put it in drift. Yeah! And don't hit the car! Oh! Just like that. So I bought this before they said you weren't allowed to have friends over anymore. And this is a great game to challenge your friends because it's, uh, you know, you can go side by side and race each other and it's actually decently realistic if you don't drift. You actually do have to hit the brakes on this one unlike other simulations and games. But right now it's just me, but it's keeping me entertained for now. The other one is my dream pinball machine. I, Oh! Oh! What are you doing? Oh, well. See, Half Turkey with Me Golden Eye is one of the best Bond movies ever for many reasons and the visuals and the, just the timing of everything. And that famous car chase with the Ferrari 355 and the Aston Martin DB5 is just, just perfectly encapsulated with this pinball machine as that's freaking out back there. Look at this thing. The Walther PPK. Shoot. Oh, there's no way to play pinball one-handed. Just use my knee here. There we go. Oh, and failed already. Now, I'm not much of a gamer anymore where I sit at home and play on a console or a PC, but these old school arcade games, they're, they're just interesting to me, fun. You get busy for several hours, but uh, looks like they're about to hang the screen over here, so let's go check on them. Yeah, there it is. It looks kind of small right now, but when you hook up power to it and unroll it, I'm sure it'll be just fine. It looks like Eric's working on the speaker mounts, right? So this is the control box here, or what do you call these? The cabinets? Oh yeah, it would be a rack. A rack. rack. Nice rack. And then <laughs> here is the laser projector. So these projectors have come a long way from back when it was just a really powerful light bulb uh, powering these things. Now it's a, it's a laser. It's all I know is laser, right? Lasers? Laser, laser engine. Laser. So actually has probably decent lighting in 
daytime to where you can actually see the screen. Yep, it's nice and bright, 3,500 lumens. Hmm. Projector's up, and they've run temporary power to the screen. It's coming down right now. Oh, that's so cool. Sweet. Uh, it's upside down. We have a problem. No problem. You did it the wrong way. Yeah, I found it upside down. Nice. That's amazing already with so much light in here. Yeah, you can see it. You can still see it. Yeah. The colors and everything else. And now it's right side up. Cool. Perfect. I've been having drive-in movie withdrawals for months now. Usually in the winter it's closed, so I'm, I'm really jonesing for it by now. And since it can't open because of this situation, I was really sad. But now I have a remote. I can control it right here, sit in my car, and, and watch things. And as much as I want to watch Tiger King for the eighth time in the last five days, uh, it's probably kind of boring. So maybe we should, uh, we should roast other YouTubers, huh? Yeah. I know the perfect one to start with. Hey, car wizard, who do you think has the cleanest interior? Well, we can sure find out. Hey, let's take a look at Mrs. Wizard's car and see how clean it is. We're looking at his wife's car to see how clean it is? There's a big footprint on the carpet down there. Is he seriously doing an 18 minute video talking about how dirty his wife's car is? Mm, get right on the back seat. Huge giant glass. So obviously there's not a lot going on, but the wizard is just so soothing. His voice is just so relaxing that it's kind of like Bob Ross. You watch a whole hour of him just painting a tree and you're entertained just because he's so smooth and, and, and relaxing. Kind of like Ed Bolian, but... Now it's a fan! Well, he is a wizard, but I think I'm going to change the channel here. Next. Hey guys, it's Ed Baldy and welcome to my garage. When I launched my personal channel about, I don't know, six months ago. So, I hate Ed Bullion, and the reason why I hate Ed Bullion is he did this entirely in one take. About an 18-minute video of him talking continuously, not making a single mistake, having to do a jump cut or anything. He, he's a robot. He's, he's gotta be a robot. The other reason I want to watch this video is because it has my car in it. Hey, there it is. Look what he shrewdly negotiated me into, the creamsicle interior. Yeah, so Ed, you did a great job selling that to me and not uh, taking that grenade yourself. <laughs> oh, this new garage looks nice, but it doesn't have a drive-in movie theater in it, does it? Mm-mm, nope, nuh-uh, Ed. I guess we should do my neighbor down the street, watch JR go, or as I like to say, watch JR copycat movie's garage. Today's episode of Watch JR go, we buy a Prius. Wait. That's not a very car guy thing to do, is it? No, it's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I was buying Priuses way before they were cool. And the Ranger, of course, left this morning. I listed it, and I had PayPal like 15 seconds later. It was crazy. I'll pay you right now. Oh, he sells cars. Yeah, isn't that cute? Selling cars and making money. Yeah, whatever. Maybe you'll have to work on them, and the sales will fail over time. We are two minutes in, and they haven't even gotten out of the car yet to see the Prius. I guess I've just spent the last... Two minutes sitting in the car making fun of YouTubers in the dark, but, but come on, go, get out there. Oh, by the way, I write all of his titles. He texts me in the middle of the night. Doesn't matter if I'm sleeping. He, he does no regard for time. He just texts me and says, "Hey, I need a title." And then for some reason, I respond. I, I need to quit responding. Anyway, next, next. You can't do YouTube without doing a Daddy Doug video, of course, of course. Yes, make that money, Doug. Make that money. A full ad, unskippable, of course. This is the 2020. So I'm going to do what probably 90% of people do on Doug DeMiro videos, and that's this. And the Doug 
Yeah, the score is 53 out of 100. 53. Ouch. Ooh, he does not like the Avalon TRD. Oh, no. There's only one other YouTuber I need to catch up on, and that's Tavares, and that's only because I'm in all of his videos lately. Yes, Car Track. It's me! This is free! And escaped over the years from our engines. <laughs> it was one of the last things I was able to do before the whole world got locked down. And if you're going to do one last thing, well, this, this is quite a thing. There's still a couple episodes left. There's five episodes on Tavares' channel right now, so be sure to, to check it out. Uh, yes, I'll just watch my magnificence of, of winning. Yes. So really, overall, this was a fantastic decision. It was actually... One of the smarter things I've done, even though I thought it was really stupid, but I see myself spending a lot more time out here, which I was already spending a lot of time out here, so might as well just, just live here. Anyway, thank you for watching.